What is up everyone? Welcome back to one of my patch note impression reviews slash first reaction videos. This one's for the newest ESO expansion coming out, High Isle. And so we're gonna go through the patch notes. I'm gonna give you reactions. I'm gonna give you my impressions of them and uh, just going to be able to explain what I think some of the biggest changes are. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. Again, thank you to my patrons and my YouTube members. I'll have more on that at the end of the video. But again, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm very excited for this. So uh, it's 8.0. 0.0 uh, patch notes this time. Uh, I'm not going to read everything here because I don't need to read everything. Uh, but the free update 34 base game introduced the highest, highly requested Mundus stones in the army system. So that's really nice. You're going to be able to uh, put or change your Mundus stone from the army system, which is really, really nice. They've also added updates to the quick slot wheel. Uh, and a few other things as well. The new zone is obviously High Isle. In the main, uh, you're gonna have the main story. You're going to have the chapter, which includes six delves. Uh, you're gonna have six world bosses, uh, which is pretty cool as well. And you're also gonna have the Sable Knights. So that might be like a wandering boss. I'm not really sure. Uh, two public dungeons, so Ancient Spire of Crimson Coin. And you're gonna have the Ghost Ghost Haven Bay, which is pretty cool. So then the new uh, public event is Volcanic Fence. We talked about that in my preview video. The big thing though for the chapter is Tales of Tribute, which I am really excited for when it comes to uh, the update. I'm excited for the card game. I know a lot of people are not. So, uh, but I am very, very excited for this. So let's go over this a little bit. Uh, patron decks, uh, each collectible patron deck contains a unique patron token and associated deck cards whose mechanics synergize. Uh, you can review the collected and soon to be collected patron decks in the Tales of Tribute Patrons Collections tab. There you'll see the powers offered by each patron. Uh, so that's really neat there. You can expand your game options uh, and skills by acquiring new decks with a whole new set of cards and patron. Each deck has a set of unique cards. So that's really nice. Uh, you can select two of the four patron decks in a match to craft a st uh, strategy base around the cards and patrons you and your opponent bring to the game. A good player will have their plans ready, but the great players will be ready to adapt to the ebbs and flows of the game. Patron decks can be discovered in and around High Isle by partaking in activities from public dungeons and world bosses and questing and incursions. The cards, every unlockable deck has some cards that can be replaced with new, more potent ones you can discover in Tamriel. These upgrade cards will have the ability you won't find elsewhere. Um, so that's really neat. Uh, winning tribute matches will grant you a variety of rewards, which is really cool as well. Uh, and then you can queue up in the activity finder to find one another with players. Ranked seasons with hefty rewards and leaderboards will be available with full launch of High Isle Chapter. That is really sick. I am super pumped for that. There's two new companions, Ember and Isabel. Uh, I'm not going to really go into the companions much because I don't really care too much about companions. There is a new trial, the Dread Cell Reef. That's really neat. It's a 12 player trial. Uh, you're going to be able to get a unique mount uh, and some other things for completing the achievements, which are usually pretty difficult. Now, the new item sets, these are some that I wanted to talk about a little bit. So for the Overland, Blessing of High Isles, a light armor set. It adds, ma it adds Max Magicka, Max Magicka, Magic Recovery. When you're healed in combat, Increase your weapon and spell damage by 369 for five seconds. I really like that. I think it's a really solid ability uh, because you could use this as like a hybrid set as well, I think, and it'd be really fun as like a hybrid healer, DPS user. You got Steadfast Metal, which is medium. Uh, this adds stamina recovery, max stamina, max stamina. While you have a food buff active, reduce the cost of your core combat abilities by 25%. So this is really interesting. I love this because the food buff is like always gonna be active. So you're always gonna have core combat abilities reduced by 25%. So that could be really good for a hybrid as well, technically. Sisters, Scow, max health, max stamina, max stamina. When you bash an enemy, place this on them for 15 seconds. When hit by a light attack, the target with Sisters, uh, Scow takes 1973 frost damage up to, uh, up to once every second. So that's really neat as well. Here is the crafted sets, okay? Um, there is a Druid's Braid, which uh, has, what's it called? Um, 12, 12 freaking uh, item set, like abilities. It's kind of nuts. So this is the next set. I didn't actually see this one. I saw a mythic item, but this is crazy actually. So a 12 piece item set that gives you all these resources. You have to wear it on every single piece of your body. That 
is crazy okay yeah i didn't see this actually on my preview i saw a mythic item so i didn't even see this one this is so dumb oh my gosh that is so ridiculous Order's Wrath, this is a uh, 657 crit chance, more crit chance, more crit chance. Weapon spell damage, increase your critical damage and critical healing by 8%. This is the one I saw on the preview. This is really good. This may replace Mother Sorrow. I don't know, but it's really solid. Serpent's Disdain, max stamina, health, magicka, increases duration of status effects you apply by 16 seconds. That's pretty cool too. Okay, the trial sets, Whirl of the Depths. Adds 129 weapon and spell damage. You gain minor slayer at all times. Weapon and spell damage, crit chance. Affected. When you deal damage to the light attack, you apply Whirl of Depths to the target and dealing frost damage over 8 seconds. When this effect ends, a 5 meter whirlpool is created under the target for 6 seconds and deals frost damage every 1 second. This is really cool. I wonder if this will be good with Frostbite, but I really hope this is because you can really maybe make a really good Frost Warden. I just, I really hope that's accurate. I hope that actually works with it. Pillager's Prophet, a light set, it adds healing done. It's five pieces when you cast an ultimate ability while in combat, you grant 28% of the cost of the ultimate up to 11 group members within 12 meters. Group members can be affected by the set every 25 seconds. That might be solid too, I don't know, but that does sound cool. Oral Riptide, um, crit chance, offensive penetration, offensive penetration. Increase your weapon and spell damage up to 740 based on your missing stamina. Interesting, okay. Very interesting. That's sort of like that one, like that one set that was released oh, a little while ago for Magicka. I feel like, um, but that one's interesting. Pearlescent Ward, uh, max health, healing taken, max health, uh, grants up to you and eleven other group members. Pearlescent Ward, Pearlescent Ward increases weapon and spell damage up to 180 based on the number of group members that are alive. It also increases damage reduction from non-player enemies out of 66% based on the number of group members that are dead. <laughs> That's a really interesting set. I like that. That's cool. So here are the mythics. These are interesting. Davra's Sabatons. Um, this one, while sprinting, you can gain a stack of dra draconic scales, granting you 660 armor up to 20 stacks max. Uh, upon stopping, you deal physical damage per stack and 8 meter shockwave, gain a damage shield equal to the damage dealt, and retain, uh, and retain draconic scales for 10 seconds, but you cannot gain new stacks. That's also, that's so cool. I really like, really, really like that. That's really interesting. With uh, left handers war girdle. This is the roll dodge that um, changes it to a damage shield. So that's really neat. Mora's whisper, you gain up to 15, 28 crit chance uh, and 10 increased inspiration. Uh, Alliance rank, Alliance skill and monster skill experience based off how many books of Shadowdor's library you've been collected. This is the one I was telling you guys about in the preview uh, video. This is the one I saw, Oaken Soul Ring. This is the one that doesn't let you swap between your bars, but it gives you a ton of resources here. So this would be really solid with maybe like one bar builds or like werewolves. So this will be interesting. Sea Serpent's Coil. While at full health, you gain 40% damage reduction. After taking damage while at full health in combat, you gain Serpent's Rebuke for 10 seconds, snaring yourself for 40 seconds, gaining major berserk and major courage, increases your damage done interesting so i just don't know how good this is gonna be but it looks really cool all right combat and abilities this is where some things might be changing necromancer mystic siphon this morph now increases your health magic and stamina recovery by up to 150 while it's active rather than restoring magic over its duration Oof, that's pretty solid uh bone tyrant beckoning armor this morph now attempts to pull valid targets once every two seconds up from once every three Nice, so that's even better. Death Scythe this morph now deals bleed damage rather than physical. Morph now applies hemorrhaging status. Now sets all enemies off balance. Ooh, okay. I like that. I really like this bone armor. This bone armor one's nice, y'all. Really, really nice. Um, upwork strike, increase the duration of power. 10 seconds, holy crap, okay. Now this morph grants Miter Berserk for its duration. Crap, that is nice. That's nice. That's actually really cool. Crushing Path, this morph also grants minor endurance and intellect for four seconds each tick. Nice. Increase the duration of major brutality of siphoning uh, and sorcery granted from this ability and morph to 30 seconds up from 20. To make it for the fact that the required target to gain these effects. Nice, okay. This morph, uh, power extraction, this morph now grants the caster minor courage for 30 seconds. Oh, nice, okay. Crystal Shard, Crystal Fragments. This morph now activates off any non-ultimate ability cast rather than only Magicka cast abilities. Oh my gosh, that's solid. Reduce the proc chance down 
That's nice though. It doesn't have to even be a magic ability now. Oh my god. This morph, so energy overload. This morph now restores up to 1200 magic and stamina rather than up to that much magicka. Restore now happens anytime you use a lighter heavy attack rather than only when they deal damage. Nice, okay. Sleet Storm, Northern Storm, now grants 300 weapon and spell damage up to 30 seconds after casting rather than up to 15% max magicka for 30 seconds. This should help the ultimate be more impactful across all playstyles. Nice, okay, that's cool. Reverse Slice, this morph no longer deals damage based on the initial hit, instead deals damage to all targets around the initial. So there's new champion points. Uh, returning ones increase the damage done uh, against off-balance enemies by 2% per stage, 5 stages, 10 points per stage. That's Exploiter. Force of Nature, increase your offensive penetration for, by 900 for each stats effect. Your target has 1 stage, 50 points. Zon. This new uh, set now applies a tether to the target that damages all enemies touching it rather than a beam that only hits one target. So reduce the base damage by approximately 52%. Increase the duration of the set to 10% or 10 seconds. Increase the cooldown. Guaranteed chance of applying burning. Interesting, okay. That's interesting. Okay, we have to try that out then. So that's the patch notes uh, for uh, the stuff that's interesting to me for the most part. For me, the biggest thing that I can take away from these is I'm really interested to see how some of these item sets really make a splash in the game uh, because they've added some really interesting ones, uh, especially mythic ones. I'm interested to see if there's a lot of one bar builds running around, like a werewolf build running around. Uh, the sets though seem uh, to again be, uh, you know, playing on hybridization. Some of the combat changes also do that as well. They buffed some skills, they've uh, they've nerfed, I think, some skills, but they're, it seems like they're again making things more hybrid friendly. So really interested to see how some of these skills actually play out uh, that they've changed um, and then the other thing to note is the Zahn monster helm I'm really interested to see how that works now because they're trying to make it a little bit better leave me a comment below letting me know what you guys think about it um, and if I missed anything but again if you want to become a patron or a YouTube member check out the link below in the description thank you again to YouTube members and patrons and uh, you can Watch me stream twitch.tv slash probably got this Tuesday through Friday. And you can check out our website, probably got this.com and many other things in the channel down below in the description. Just remember to have faith, be great, and I'll see you later.